This evening in studio with me is Susan Kamau. She's here to answer 21 questions. Now, Susan Kamau is an author. She is the TV host for Susan's Kitchen, and she is also the regional ambassador for uh, a UN initiative, which is called Global Alliance for Clean Cook Stoves. Karibu sana, my dear. Thank you very much. All right. We'll start from the beginning. Who are you? Where are you from? And how did you get into what you're doing now? Who am I? I'm a mum, hardworking business lady, mm-hmm. having fun with everything I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that in a nutshell is who I am. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> yes. And how did you get to where you are now as, you know, the television host, you know, you're the regional ambassador and we'll break down all those things. But, you know, give us that, that story from when you studied, you studied home economics, right? Yes. Okay, I pick started, it up from there. I was blessed to have a mum who exposed us to a lot of different foods as we were growing up. Okay. And I've always enjoyed food. It doesn't change. Sure. From then, is it? No. Oh, gosh. I'm Very nice and slender. <laughs> oh, thank you. Then in for O-levels, mm-hmm. I took the option of home economics. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, after that, I got into my uh, my first job, which was at the Hilton Hotel here in Nairobi. Okay. I was 19 years old, just out of school. Very young. And I you know, got into the local hotel industry. Mm-hmm. So that's where it really all happened and started. All right. So question yeah. two. At 19, at the Hilton, what were you doing for them? I rotated the different departments. Okay. I started off in the kitchen, Mm -hmm. but I went over to front office. I went over to the laundry. Okay. I was in the kitchens just to get an overall feel of of what the hotel entailed. All right. Yeah. Laundry. Yes. Laundry. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, seriously. And housekeeping, you know, when you go and clean the rooms and make the beds. Okay. We did all that and laundry, yes, you foie, but it, of course it's all done by machine. With the machine, yes, because I'm also looking at your fingers and I'm like, Mm-mm, she did not do that. So you did a little bit of everything at the Hilton Hotel. Yes. Did you always want to get into, you know, the food industry? I did. I enjoyed food and I was most comfortable in the kitchen Mm -hmm. because in the kitchen, even at home when I was practicing as a 13 year old practicing doing cookies and Mm -hmm. and baking, I started off with baking at 13. I don't think I know how to. My mom allowed us in the kitchen to Mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. And um, it was my space. It was where I could have solace, you know, it Mm -hmm. was where I could get lost in the moment and get absorbed in in what I'm doing. I can see it from your eyes. You're very passionate about it. (laughs) How often do you eat in a day? Considering Um, you're a foodie. I do try. I'm 47 years old. Let me say that. And so I do try to, as I get older, look after myself. Mm -hmm. I've got a five-year-old kid, so we're running around. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as you grow older, you want to take care of yourself. So I try not to overfeed. I can see that. But I (laughs) do allow myself Mm -hmm. the indulgences once in a while. Okay. That is the chocolates and the brownies, you know, with a big scoop of ice cream on it and fudge icing and whatever, you know, the fudge cream on top. Yes. But um, I, I have a very simple breakfast. Mm-hmm. I start off with uji. Mm-hmm. I have a, a nice po- homemade porridge in mm-hmm. the morning. Me and my daughter then dash off to school, get to the office. I have my lunch by 10.30. Okay. And then that I'm good until evening time where we have You dinner. have your lunch at what time? 10.30 in That's the morning. Lunch. <laughs> that doesn't sound like lunch. That's breakfast part two. <laughs> Uh, that's my lunch. Okay. And then I'm done until I get home at about six, seven in the evening. Okay. And then we have dinner. That's supper, seven o'clock. My goodness. Dinner.